viewers, welcome back to Let's Play Free Space. What if this guy ever gets bored just kind of standing in... Oh. 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 Okay, now I'm done. So when we last left off, I shot a bunch of rocks and shivins. Shivins. When did I pronounce that right? GTA High Command is pleased to report a major victory in our war against the Shivans. What did I do? A combined Terran Vasudan task force crushed a massive buildup of Shivan forces in Antares, destroying the SD Demiurge and a large number of supporting cruisers and cargo depots. With the removal of this nexus of activity, the Shivan Armada has been fragmented into numerous smaller secondary fleets scattered throughout known space. Victory over the Shivans, though far from imminent, appears to be in sight. Both the GTA and the PVE are moving quickly to secure their positions and press the advantage. The GTD Minnow has been deployed to Beta Cygni and Betelgeuse, while the PVD Hope is en route to Vesuda and Alpha Centauri. The Krios, however, is returning to Antares to monitor Shivan behavior and investigate several pirate factions that have cropped up in the aftermath of the Shivan defeat. Okay, a couple of quick comments. Now, first of all, if this was the original game, I would comment that there's no way anyone blowed anything up, blew anything up, blowed anything up, my god, blew anything up without me there because I'm Alpha 1. But the AI isn't pretty competent in this game, so I can't really protest that too much. Second of all, the GTD Minnow, that doesn't exactly inspire fear. And uh, also, didn't Vasuda kind of get glassed? So why is the hope hanging around there? And last but not least, hey, another turning point in our war against the Shivans. Of course, at this point, I think we've just gone in a complete circle. Terran Command has informed us that the escape pod recovery mix-up in Deneb was due to a breakdown in communications. Right. Misunderstandings and bureaucratic errors such as these have unfortunately plagued the GTI command structure ever since the loss of the GTD Legion several months ago. We are many. Both the Repulse and the Krios were accidentally assigned to the same operation, and <laughs> the Repulse arrived first. The first escape pod landed in the Repulse's hangar bay, while the confused personnel on the second pod landed in the Krios. After the Krios received confirmation of the Repulse's orders, the escape pod and its occupants were transferred to Beta Aquilae. Terran Command has classified all official records pertaining to their proceedings on this subject. Of course, because what they wouldn't want to reveal is that, remember, GTI is responsible for galactic Terran intelligence. And we can't even decide who's picking up escape pods. Don't want to let the common rank and file know much about how we're herping the derp, do you? In the absence of further information, the Krios is continuing to investigate the Einstein's appearance in the Deneb system. According to service logs, the Einstein was reported destroyed during the initial Shivan encounter at Ross 128. The Einstein had entered the system on a routine geological survey mission three days prior to the attack. Obviously, the Einstein's presence in Deneb during our recent operation contradicts the official record. Yeah, no kidding. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Before Admiral? its alleged destruction at Ross 128, the Einstein was under the command of Captain Ezra Tycho, a high-ranking GTI officer. Though its official duties were limited to low-level planetary studies, huh? the Einstein may have been involved in covert operations and weapons research. The appearance of the Einstein in such a highly secure region of space is troubling. Analysis of the ship's flight pattern indicates that it was performing a high-level scan of the area in and around the Deneb asteroid belt. The Einstein would be in an ideal position to observe and record the activities of all the Sudan research convoys in the area. The purpose behind these scans as well as any data the Einstein gathered remain unknown. Our brief interrogations of the Einstein's survivors yielded little useful information on this subject, as most of the command crew were aboard the escape pod retrieved by the Repulse. Well, it seems like the command crew knew which ship they wanted to go to. And once again, more secrecy. Now these things. Recent engagements with Shivan forces have revealed the existence of a new class of bomber, which we have designated Seraphim. The Seraphim appears to be similar to the Nephilim in most respects, except that it boasts an additional four primary hardpoints 
and its armament capacity is approximately 50% greater. Like the Nephilim, the Seraphim is a formidable foe. Pilots are advised to carry a heavy shield-damaging weapon such as the Banshee in theatres where these bombers are expected. We are unsure as to why the Sheevans waited until now to introduce the Seraphim. Its deployment could have shifted the balance in a number of close engagements during the height of the Great War. Now, however, the Sheevans appear to lack the initiative to use it effectively. I like how they're speaking past tense about the Great War, like we didn't just barely manage to splinter their fleet. Literally, what, like three briefing stages ago? Research and development has completed field testing of its latest stealth fighter prototype, the GTF Loki. Featuring high maximum velocity and excellent maneuverability, the Loki is designed primarily as a reconnaissance fighter. Its shielded reactor chamber and compact hull give it a low sensor profile, enabling it to elude detection by enemy forces. Pursuant to regulations, the Loki's onboard IFF transponder will emit an encrypted signal to allow targeting by designated friendly units. At this time, the Loki is restricted to GTI pilots only. No pilot in the standard GTA fighter core is to be authorized to fly the Loki until further notice. Quick flashback. When the Repulse showed up to rescue those pods, pretty sure those fighters we couldn't target, the friendlies, were Lokis. So, so much of that pursuant to regulations IFF crap. Seven stages. Approximately one hour ago, pirate raiders launched an attack on the Talus Particle Accelerator Complex in Antares. This facility houses top secret GTI weapons research laboratories and is of the utmost strategic importance to the war effort. Large Hadron Collider? Yep. Some of the station's research modules, already weakened by previous Shivan attacks, breached containment during the engagement, <laughs> causing a massive explosion that crippled the station and destroyed virtually every ship in the immediate area, including the pirate attack force and the facility's defensive perimeter. Not the smartest pirates. The only craft that remain are a crippled Leviathan-class cruiser, the GTC Lido, and eight cargo containers containing critical weapons research. This information is extremely sensitive and must be recovered immediately. Yes, sir. Since the security of this sector has been severely compromised, GTI forces will recover the materials to a safe location. The station will evacuate all personnel until repairs can be completed at a later date. Your assignment is to ensure that this operation proceeds smoothly. Okay. Due to the loss of the station's defenses, control of this area is extremely tenuous. We expect the pirates to return and possibly attempt to seize the weapon prototypes during their removal. You must prevent this at all costs. Keep the area secure until reinforcements arrive. A repair transport will attempt to bring the Lido systems online to help with your defense, but it may be some time before this can be accomplished. Command will deploy additional fighters as the need arises. Alright, well that's quite the reinforcements are sending in three cruisers. Secure the cargo, wait for reinforcements, protect the escape pod, ship selection, Ulysses, blah. Hornet swarm missiles, what do I got here? Prometheus cannon and Avenger. Alrighty. Do some damage, what do you guys got? Prometheus and Avenger and Hornets, okay. So I guess we're fighting bombers then, because they can't really dodge these things very well. Let's do it! Whoa. Holy crap, look at that! An entire chunk of the complex is gone. The pirates are nowhere to be found. That doesn't mean they won't be back. Keep your eyes open. Take that, debris! Da. No. Lambda 1, preparing to dock with the Lido. How's the Lido doing? 27%. Yikes. So, no radar dish, 12% sensors, 2% comms. We're beginning the evacuation sequence now. Pilots, protect the escape pods until they can jump. Wow, this is a busy level. Protect the Leto, protect the escape pods, protect the ship preparing the Leto, probably try not to let large hadron collider get blown up. Protect the ships that are going to collect the cargo. Busy, busy day. So, think this will be a quiet patrol? Oh, and now we're doomed. Don't get your hopes up. Things are never quiet around here. Actually, I kind of wish I hadn't crashed into that and lost 4% of my hull like an idiot. No kidding. Pirates in the area. Alright, guys. Engaging enemy. Mop mop. Taking 
damage. Request cover. All right, you had your shot. I'm gonna take mine. The pirates are trying to steal the cargo. Whoa. Come on, lock, 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 lock. Thank you. Enjoy those. Wait, Cutlass 1 and 2 aren't freighters. They're drones. What's going on here? Who cares? Splash them. Breaking to attack. That's one. That's two. Attacking your target. That's a lot of firepower pouring on there. That was way too easy. Scratch one band of pirates. Yeah, well. It seemed a little too easy, if you ask me. Something tells me we haven't seen the last of them. Let's keep on four. They're all okay, so they're making their way in and out. We should do going one at a time. That makes sense. Easier to escort. Sheevan's incoming. Looks like they decided to crash the party. Engaging the enemy. Yeah, this is always not a surprise. Match speed. Anyone targeting me? Yep. You're targeting me, in fact. New bandits in the area. Here, after burning. Ah! Gotcha. Engaging enemy. Switch up to dual weapons, I think. Manticores, more Sheevans. Yee freaking ha. Huh? Crap. I hope you got out okay. Come on, I just need a little bit. Oh. Well. Repairs complete. Moving to defend cargo. What was that? Oh, the Lido's on station now. Excellent. Come on, come on, come on, give me a lock. Yeah. This is the top of one requesting assistance. Pirates are in pursuit. Their freighters are broadcasting stolen IFF signals. Cover us. Wait, what? Capo wing. I think it's Capo wing. Capo wing, moving to collect. What the hell? Command, we have an unauthorized wing here. Gauging the Seraphim bombers incoming. Protect the freighters. We'll figure out who's who later. Pilots, we can't afford to lose that cargo. At your first opportunity, get a scan of at least one freighter from each Kappa wing. We're readying Delta wing to assist. Stand by. Okay, let's get this guy scanned in a hurry. Whoa, what those pi- Crap! Delta wing has arrived. Waiting orders. Okay. Really wish I hadn't warped in by these guys now. You know, any kind of fighter cover would be nice at this point, guys. Excellent job, pilot. Yeah, except you guys are freaking getting chance to take a look at all the cargo while I'm doing this. The escape pods are under attack. Protect them. Oh, you have two sets of engines too. That's awesome. Match speed. Out of missiles. Calling in a support ship. IFF's resolve. Delta Wing, destroy the pirate freighter. No! Attacking your target. All escape pods have jumped out safely. Check your six, pilot! Hey, no freaking shields left. Wow, this mission kind of sucks. Alright, so... We're gonna need more firepower. GTA. Yeah, yeah, more firepower. Can I bring a bomber? No. 
Hercules, Apollo, or Ulysses? Well, let's actually want firepower in this mission. Opposed to interceptors. Disruptor cannon, high subsystem damage. Well, that would actually work. Disruptor missile, disrupt subsystems. Anti bomber missile. That, right, the Phoenix. That could actually come in handy. This thing with high hull damage. Low hull, low shield. Moderate hull, high shield. High hull. That's what I'm going to need. I'm going to equip my squad to take it to those st stupid transports. Bunch of liars. Phoenix. 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 What are you guys carrying? See, I don't like the fact that it gives you a disruptor cannon by default. It's like, you should really take these because, you know what, you're going to have to put up with them later. And you're not going to up with the Banshees, so you'll get Prometheus's as well. I should get double click these things. Alright, viewers, hopefully I'm on the right track with this train of thought here. Is I did notice there they have two engine subsystems, which makes them very, very hard to disable. Hopefully we'll be able to kick them out with enough interceptors. Oh yeah, ten to spare. Yay. <laughs> oh, that's where. Phoenix, 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 Phoenix. Okay. You see all the Prometheus cannons, don't you? That's good. Let's try this again. 